Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And let's continue the series I've been doing where I name who I believe is the best player in each NBA franchise's history. I previously did this for NFL teams. They're in a playlist. You can check them out. Have them in a playlist for the NBA teams I have done as well. Going in alphabetical order, today we land on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, the Timberwolves have been a franchise since the 89-90 season, only known by that name. 36 seasons of NBA action. Haven't necessarily had that much success. This past season was only the second time they reached the Western Conference Finals. Never reached the NBA Finals. Now, two years ago, I did my NBA Mount Rushmore's by teams, who I believe are the four best players in each franchise's history. So before I've been revealing the GOAT for each team, I've been revisiting these Mount Rushmore's, deciding if I would make any changes in the two years that have passed. And for the Timberwolves, I did... I am now including Anthony Edwards, even though it's just four seasons in the league. I finished seventh in MVP voting this year. I took off Wally Zerbiak. Uh, the Timberwolves really didn't have a great fourth choice, so uh, that made it easier for me to include uh, Anthony Edwards. But anyhow, uh, elsewise, I have Kevin Garnett, 14 seasons with the Timberwolves, 10 All-Star teams. Kevin Love uh, won a rebounding crown with the Timberwolves, also a three-time All-Star uh, Most Improved Player. And Carl Anthony Towns, active still with the Timberwolves, four-time All-Star, two times reached third-team All-NBA, and a Rookie of the Year. Some honorable mentions include Zerbiak, as I mentioned, he was on my Mount Rushmore two years ago. Uh, Stefan Marbury, Terrell Brandon, Sam Mitchell, Ricky Rubio, and Andrew Wiggins. But in the end, my GOAT for the Minnesota Timberwolves is pretty easy choice for this team. Kevin Garnett. Garnett was selected with the fifth overall pick in the 1995 NBA Draft. With for the Timberwolves, as mentioned, played parts of 14 seasons with Minnesota. 10 All-Star teams. Garnett was named the MVP in the 2003-04 season with Minnesota. Uh, also was Defensive Player of the Year runner-up twice with the team. Was MVP runner-up twice with the team. Uh, so long seen as one of the best players. Still seen as one of the best power forwards in NBA history. Let's take a look at his season-by-season season numbers via his basketball reference page. So, again, uh, not just MVP and two MVP runner-up finishes. Also had finishes of 5th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th with the Timberwolves. Not just runner-up twice for Defensive Player of the Year. Also had finishes of 3rd, 6th, 7th twice, 9th, 11th, and 13th with Minnesota. Uh, twice finished 13th. Uh, was defensive first team six straight seasons spanning from 99-2000 to 2004-05. Uh, made the NBA first team a total of four times with Minnesota. Four straight seasons he led the league in rebounding from 2003-04 to 2006-07. Uh, in 970 career regular season gar games, Garnett posted averages of 19.8 points, 11 rebounds, 4.3 assists, 1.4 steals, 1.6 blocks, shot just shy of 50% from the field. Garnett averaged over 20 points per game, uh, nine straight seasons with Minnesota from 98-99 to 2006 Oh, seven. He had a couple seasons where he averaged more than two blocks a game, at least a steal a game every season from 95-96 to 2006-07. In the postseason, he did quite well. Uh, 47 games, averages of 22.3 points, 13.4 rebounds, and five assists, 1.3 steals, 1.9 blocks. That is with Minnesota. Um, of course, won a championship with the Celtics. That doesn't um, you know, affect him being the go to the Timberwolves, but nonetheless, uh, you know, most of his action was with the Timberwolves, at least in the regular season. 
He's 19th all-time with 26,071 points. 9th all-time with 14,662 rebounds. Even 56th all-time, 5,445 assists. 18th all-time, 1,859 steals. 18th all-time, 2,037 blocks. And again, I get that his whole career wasn't with the Timberwolves. But still, he holds nearly every record with Minnesota, uh, 19,201 points and 10,718 rebounds with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So in the end, this was a pretty easy one. Um, Kevin Garnett is the GOAT of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let me know in the comments, maybe, uh, I'm sure most of you will agree with Garnett. Maybe if you disagree with the Mount Rushmore, who would you would have included? With all these, I take a look at the active roster, decide if anyone has a chance to overtake the GOAT, maybe make the Mount Rushmore, maybe be an honorable mention. Well, they currently have two guys on the Mount Rushmore in Towns and Edwards. I will say I do not foresee Towns having any chance of surpassing Garnett. And if I had to guess... It's still way too early. Anthony Edwards is only 22 years old. Will turn 23 on August 5th. Uh, if I had to guess, predict, I would say Edwards won't surpass Garnett. Uh, but there's definitely a chance. Let's see if he remind, um, turns out to be a lifelong Timberwolf. Uh, if he moves on to a different team later on in his career, if he went, if he helps Timberwolves win their first NBA championship, so way too early to really decide if. Uh, you know, he can have a chance to overtake Garnett. A uh, guy like Rudy Gobert has only played two seasons for him. But again, Timberwolves haven't had a boatload of great players. So, uh, you know, you could probably consider him an honorable mention by the time his career is over or his time with the Timberwolves. Uh, but stay tuned for tomorrow. We will be doing the New Orleans Pelicans. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.